Lights. Well, part of Marion locals conditioning this past week was grabbing some shovels and digging the snow off the field they were going to scrimmage on as they prepare for their eighth straight state championship game. Tim Goodwin and company have had a penchant for making the special ordinary. Six state crowns this decade and an overall record since 2010 of 120 and 11. Their opponent in the Division Six state title game is also familiar. Kirtland makes their third trip in four years, looking for their second state title in that span. They also have some revenge on their mind, losing 34 to 11 to the Flyers in last year's state title game. That was also Kirtland's last loss. Well, players remembering Dan Toby, assistant coach for Marion Local, who passed away earlier this season. Kirtland would get started early. Jake Niebecker coming away with the two yard touchdown. This was a running and defense matchup. But Marion Local trying to go to the air and Nate Bruns would connect with Nick Tangeman. Nice catch there. And Marion Local would have another one of those coming up on this drive as Bruns looks to the opposite side and he's gonna hit Matt Ruthman who gets the foot down inbounds. Would set up first and goal for Marion Local and then a couple of plays later, they would go ahead and hand it off to Brandon Fleck and Fleck just gets enough across for the touchdown. And that would tie this one up at seven. But Kirtland would not be denied. Luke Gardner, his only carry of the day, by the way, takes it in from left and scores. That would put them up 13 to seven. The extra point would be no good. However, this 31 yard field goal from Mario Roden would be good. Straight through the uprights, makes it a 16 to seven score. Marion Local trying to make something happen late. The blocked putt there by Luke Tangeman, but just back and forth, not able to get anything going. Kirtland wins the state championship, finish capping off an undefeated season for them, 16 to seven. Uh, Rethman ended with four receptions for 61 yards. Torok of Kirtland had 14 rushes for 65 yards. Uh, Kirtland dominated uh, the rushing totals in this one, as well as time of possession. And it was a battle all the way, according to head coach Tim Goodwin. community's proud of them they, you know we, we played hard today you know it's just the type of kids we had it's unfortunate we couldn't score there and you know and give it a shot at the end you know because I, I really thought we could have we could have done something you know and made it interesting but I mean we battled out there you know we were you know severely outgunned in terms of size and strength and weight but our defense you know battled like crazy and so um, I'm proud of them